Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to draw an octopus using coloured pencils. For this one I'm using Powder Blender which is by Brush and Pencil and I'm doing this on sanded paper. I'm using UART 500. I start off by putting down light layers of colour. I'm not pressing very hard. I'm using the sanded paper to scrape the pigment off the pencil and instead of pressing onto the paper that's how I get the pigment off the pencil um, and so it's very light pressure. And then I blend it using a soft tool um, with it just dip a little bit into the powder blender so there's a little bit of dust on the soft tool and then I use that to blend out the colour. And after I blend I then take the texture fixative and I do a light layer of that and then let that dry completely before continuing on. So every time you see me using the blending tools, um, I've sprayed with fixative afterwards. Then I just continue doing additional layers. As you can see, I tried to put in some light beams and decided no, nah, didn't like that look. So I then went over it with a bit more of the blues and covered them up a bit. I left a little bit of a hint of them, but mostly it all I removed the light beams. You see how easy that was. Um, not something you could adjust on watercolour paper, but using sanded paper and the powder blender, it's very easy to do. Now I'm starting on the tentacles and putting in all the different colours and doing continuing doing light layers again and not worrying too much about the detail at this point. And after blending it, then you start adding in more details and continuing on to put layers on there. And then after you've reached so many layers, you can start using your fingers to blend instead of the applicators, which does make it a little bit easier because um, you can just smudge the point and you don't have to pick it up and everything like that. Um, but you can only do that on the later layers. Um, prior to that, it's um, you need to use the tools. Just adding in a bit more of the blue. I had a little bit of issues getting this to match up with the blue of the background. Um, it didn't want to take pigment very well in that spot. I'm not sure what the detail was. It seems to be in that area and on that tentacle as well. I'm not sure if there was a bit of a flaw in the paper there. Um, did have some issues with this particular paper. Um, hopefully it's just this one piece and not the rest of the paper I've got. Um, but yeah, there's some areas where I found the pigment didn't want to stick to the paper and it wouldn't work like some of the other areas did. So yeah, hopefully it was just this one piece. Just blocking in the colours for the next tentacles and blending it out and spraying with fixative before continuing on with some more details. I found um, I find with this paper it's very quick to put colour down. You, because you don't have to get a nice even smooth amount of pencil on the paper, um, you can be really quick and you put the colour down and blend it and it makes it just go really smooth. It's so much quicker than um, norm, my normal method for drawing with um, watercolour paper and odorless solvent. Just adding in more details and more colours. I do find that uh, when you blend it out, it is easy to lose a bit of the details that you've just done. Um, and yet do you have to find the balance of when to blend it and when to just leave it because the blending, especially when you're using the applicators, it, it does remove quite a bit of the pigment off the page um, when you do it. So you can lose a fair bit of the detail that you've added. So you do have to watch that. But once you've sprayed it with fixative, then that holds it in place. So when you've got some good detail down, then you spray it with the fixative, 
Um, you can't blend it then, so if you want to blend it, you've got to do it before you spray. But once it's sprayed, it's protected by the, the layer of fixative. I loved how easy it was to get that texture on the body of the octopus. Just get that rough, um, bumpy texture. It was so easy. It was, I loved it. One issue I did have with this piece was that it ended up looking quite grainy. Even though it looks smooth while I'm drawing it, um, there was a certain amount of graininess to the picture that I couldn't get rid of in the end. And when I did the, um, sprayed it with the final fixative at the end, it seemed to make it a bit worse. Um, not sure if I just needed to do additional layers, uh, which could potentially have helped, um, or maybe I needed to layer with the, uh, the normal texture fixative um, more during the piece, and maybe additional layers after each blending to help hold the pigment down. Um, I'll have to experiment with that a bit more and see if that helps get rid of the grainy look. Just deepening the shadows here using uh, dark purple. I love the look of that purple against the, that rust orange. It looks so nice. Those two colours set off each other beautifully. And here I changed um, where the suckers were on the tentacles a little bit. They weren't quite positioned right when I initially drew them in. So just changed them a bit and see how easy it was to do that. So that's something you couldn't do very easily with the watercolour paper. You've got to be very precise with the watercolour paper. You can't just change things like that. Whereas with this um, setup, you can just alter things like that and it'll just go over the top of the other layers really easily. Definitely gives a bit of a freer feel when you're drawing. You don't feel quite so constricted to that initial drawing that you do. And deepening those shadows up and also putting a bit more white on the eye. You can see how much that white stands out when you put it on. And that's something else that I love with the sanded paper is the white stands out so bright on it when you put the white in and that's without even doing the uh, the powder the titanium white powder this is just using the pencils the pencils I use are polychromos Faber Castell polychromos pencils there's I'll occasionally use um, luminance as well uh, though more so when I'm using the odorless solvent the luminance because they're more waxy, they don't work as well with the powder blender. It's just something to keep in mind. Whereas the polychromos works really well. The more waxy pencils uh, tend to stick to the paper more. So the powder blender doesn't, yeah, I can't blend it out as well. Just going over and deepening those shadows with the black. So adding a little bit of highlight, making sure that some of the colours from the background are shown on the octopus, a little bit of that light greeny blue. And then I decided it needed something else, so I came through and just added a bunch of seagrass. And I loved how I could just add that in as a last minute thought. Hmm can just put it in and it shows up quite well. And see how well that light green and the yellow show up. It's good being able to put in those last little um, highlights on that grass there. You'll notice that my final picture is a lot more grainy than what it was showing in the video. And that's because when I sprayed it with the final fixative, it actually made it go more grainy. And I'm not sure what the reason for that is. That's something that I'll have to explore and try and work out the cause of, because that's a bit frustrating that 
that happen and hopefully it doesn't happen on my next piece. I think I might need to try doing more layers of the texture fixative throughout the piece and hopefully that'll stop that graininess from happening. Uh, thank you for listening and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all next time.